morning guys and welcome to the channel today um, I'm out again it's uh, beautiful weather here in the UK a little bit chilly but still lovely weather um, I'm out on the S18 for uh, a quick little blast to uh, to get the legs and everything uh, going on us on a on an early morning ride um, I'm also uh, on my Cinco mic so I want to see if this uh, keeps on working how I would like it to work. Um, the previous run on the Cinco mic was really good. So I am super impressed with the first run. But I need to see if I can keep uh, this, this sort of like a constant. I need to try and f uh, figure out exactly how I'm going to do it and edit and so forth. So, um, oh yeah. And today I want to talk about the Inmotion V12. Now there's been leaks and uh, not the vegetables, but uh, there's been leaks and photos and user manuals. Everything has been out there on the web. And um, I just want to cover a few points um, that I've uh, seen about the wheel because um, it looks really nice. But first, let's get a bit of uh, 360 action going. Let's go. Oh, this, this wheel is so nice on these forest trails. Super lovely. Ooh. Let's go down here. Ooh. It's got a steep little section. Oh, suspension helps, but you still need to pump the legs. It's like a pump track. Oh. <laughs> we did a uh, we did an office move yesterday, and uh, <laughs> carrying desks and moving stuff around. Oh man, my uh, my watch was telling me that uh, I was overdoing myself with all the stairs I was climbing. <laughs> So the legs is not, uh, is not happy this morning, but uh, that's how it goes. Whoa, whoa, super mud, super mud. There's so many tracks and stuff to ride here. Look at, look at, look at this, it's absolutely awesome. And these fire tracks are so nice. For, for this wheel. Absolutely brilliant. So guys, um, let's uh, look at this uh, V12. What do you guys think about it? What do you think about it? Drop some comments below. You know, uh, is this something that, uh, ooh, little secret path here. Um, is this a wheel that you guys would be interested in buying? Is this something that you'd like? You like the look of it? Do you like the, design do you like the speed uh, do you like the kickstand drop some comments below i would really like to get you guys feedback so uh, we can get a bit of discussion going on this video um but yeah i just want to highlight a few things so uh, this is a 16 inch wheel 100 volt uh, as far as i've seen 60 60 16 inch wheel it's uh quite light as well not that heavy so it's not a uh, 
a big old uh, Sherman beast, so forth. Um, the thing that I did see is um, it's got a 120 kilogram rider weight support. So it supports uh, up to 120 kilo, kilograms. The other thing is, this thing is fast, man. From, um, from what I've seen, the guys are rating it, I think, 43 miles per hour. Now, uh, that, is, that is super quick for a 16-inch wheel. Now, usually what happens with a wheel that is light and the diameter of the, of the rim is not that, is not like 18 or 20 inch. The faster you go, the more unstable it can be. And this is where the Sherman is so, is so good. It's, it's, a, it's a really big wheel. And also the batteries is hanging on both sides very low. So the center of gravity is very low. So it makes the wheel very, very stable. So it's going to be interesting to see if this wheel has got the same type of, type of design. Rather two smaller packs on both sides and then uh, keeping the weight distributed equally on both sides. So you get a really nice uh, balanced wheel. Um, and then maybe put the board, I don't know, maybe uh, put the board where? On the top or somewhere where it keeps that weight um, the same. Oh, jeez, the legs. But, but yeah, 40, 43 miles per hour. Even if you say 40 miles an hour, whew, man, that's absolutely insane. So uh, when I had that Sherman, that thing is fast, you know, but I, I can never really cruise you know, in the UK at that speed. It's just a little bit... Uh, too much for me. Um, I, I just don't feel. I just don't feel feel comfortable. Oh, so got some mud here. Yeah? So I just don't feel comfortable. Look at this. I've not, never been down here. So so yeah, I don't feel comfortable at that speed. You know, I can I can probably um, 30, 35 miles an hour. That sort of, but it's a short little stint that that I would go up to that speed. Oh. I would not stick, stick up at that speed for that long. There's that running out of road here in the UK. <laughs> if you ride at that speed, you, uh, you're in a different uh, county. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But, uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it's that type of thing. But 40 miles an hour, that gives you like a massive, well, for me at least, gives me a massive headroom. So uh, being, uh, um, then I can cruise at like 30 miles an hour with, being far below the cutoff uh, or the tilt back speed. And then you can get more range out of it, I think. Well, I hope. Ah, this is where this comes out. How cool is that? So, interesting. So, yeah, that is very, very cool. You know, this, the high speed, that is, that is awesome. If they can get the balance right, then that will be even better. So, balance like stable wheel and if they can give you uh, the option uh, to have a knobby tire on that thing that will be perfect you know just a whoa this is where i want to go down so they can give you a knobby tire on that wheel meaning that you can uh, you can do a bit of off-roading because to be honest you know um having a suspension is great but uh as I was saying to this one subscriber, sometimes having something a little bit more simpler uh, with less uh, complexity, a lot of people actually enjoy that. Some people just want to get on the wheel and ride, switch it on and go. Some people uh, really like uh, setting up the wheel and making sure that uh, the settings of the suspension is all good and they want to really dial the wheel in. And that's perfectly fine. A lot of people like that, a lot of people don't. Um, I'm sort of in between, I like both. Um, I like uh, tuning and setting up suspensions for my uh, mountain bike, for instance, or, or, or my S18, really enjoy it. Um, and other people, sometimes I just wanna get on my wheel like my, um, 
Gotway M103. Just want to get on the wheel and go. You know, just power on, boom. The thing is, it looks like there's also some IP rating, IPX ratings on this uh, V12. Um, I see there's a, it's a 7 and a 5. So it looks like the battery is more sealed uh, compared to the, um, to the casing. So that will be quite interesting as well. Um, I've been down there to see how waterproof it is. And also, this thing has got a, um, a screen on the top. Now, as, as much as I like um, using an app, an app is a faff. For me, an app is, is a bit of a faff, you know. It is something that I need to go and get out of my pocket and then unlock it and then face ID doesn't work and then this ID doesn't work and then I need to open the app and then I need to connect to the phone. Ah, oh, or the Bluetooth, and it's just, uh, it's just a pain. So I, if there's a screen, and the screen is waterproof, so um, it doesn't fog up or something like that when, uh, when there's a bit of moisture, like in the UK. So uh, in motion, send that wheel, that wheel over so I can test it for, for you for you guys. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so um, that needs to be... Whoa, whoa. That needs to be one of the things um, so that they can seal that, um, that screen off. Touch screen, perfect. I like that. It's color. Even if they went, um, whoa, even if they went black and white, I wouldn't have mind. I like to look down, boom, got 40% battery left, job done. So, uh, so yeah, the screen is awesome. Like it. Um, any, any other things? Screen, the wheel. Um, I like the front light. It looks like it's got a proper light. Um, it looks like it's also got a speaker in the rear. That's, that's also cool. Um, the other thing, has got a stand as well, so you can put the wheel down. I know the V11, um, you know, the stand works well when it's a very flat, flat ground. Um, but it's, if there's any inclines and stuff, it's a bit flimsy. But uh, we'll see how this, how this one is. Maybe this one is the same. Ugh or a little bit better. But what else is there? Oh, lovely roads, lovely. But yeah, so, speed. Oh, look at this road, lovely. Oh. So speed, design, I like the design. What do you guys think? Do you like the design? I like it, I, I love something different. I like the little lip in the front that uh, goes out the front to show that it's, uh, it's almost like a little, uh, so the light, the light reflection, um, you can't see the front light and sometimes that's nice for riding, for riding at night, it just shields your eyes, oh this is like where the horses walk and <laughs> it is super bumpy, but yeah guys, it's a short little run, um, I hope you are having an awesome time riding your wheels and getting excited about this V12. Um, I think there was also talk about a V15. It's like, if these guys can get it right and start pumping out the wheels, that would be really nice. I, I try and ride now as, as much as I can um, when the sun is out and the trails are dry. It's so lovely. My legs are aching like mad. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this little ride. Grab some bacon and eggs, coffee action, and then get this, uh, get this weekend started. So guys, uh, let me know what you think about this uh, V12. And uh, please drop a subscribe up here so I can get to my thousand subscribers and I can get another wheel. I think I'm going to get a Sherman. What do you guys think? So uh, thanks for joining on the ride and uh, I will see you on the next ride. Ah.